this uh, this week, we've got some very great things happening, uh, one of which is um, Comic-Con. Uh, so as you know, because of COVID-19, um, it's put all basic like gatherings of people at uh, essentially like a, at a standstill. And, um, you know, one of the things that obviously, you know, uh, we can't do is go out and, you know, fucking be in a mass group of people to watch fucking trails. Yeah. Like that's just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nobody's doing that. Yeah. Uh, and so, uh, that of course affected, uh, Comic-Con, which, uh, typically t- takes place in San Diego. Um, at least there's, there's more than just the San Diego Comic-Con, but that's like the one that is very popular and that everybody knows of. Um, and so, uh, what they decided to do, unlike AMC, uh, they decided to take Comic-Con virtual, right? So now we get beautifully comic-con at home um and so uh essentially you know they're making it so that you know everybody can participate in it um and uh and, and so we wanted to kind of do a guide to comic-con or at least read somebody else's guide to, to Comic-Con. <laughs> um and so I and, I and i thought it was dope because it's it's actually taking place this week uh and um it's uh the virtual event uh and, and i'll just read here from uh, the popinsider.com um the the virtual event will take place from july 22nd through july uh july 26th uh fans can access the exhibitors showroom online over the course of the show uh on the floor you'll find company listings exclusive products uh up for grabs product links and more this post um has all the links you may need yada yada uh you can also follow along on social media using the hashtag comic con at home um uh, and uh and yeah and and they have like a lot of these like panels and things like that uh which i'm assuming that they're going to do through um like zoom, zoom or something like or, that or something of the sort yeah. um and and so so yeah uh what uh what would you be looking forward to uh, as far as you know uh, any sort of like panels things like that I mean, I think uh, obviously, like all the stuff like Marvel has coming down the pipeline, like you know, I, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier got pushed back. So I think like panel from Marvel on some of the things that they're doing. Um, obviously, the DC panel um, having some like really big name uh, celebrities. Well, you know, they usually have like big name celebrities at Comic Con to talk about their upcoming films. But like, I don't know, something about like being able to jump on a Zoom call and then listen to. Uh, you know, uh, Benedict Cumberbatch talk about like, you know, things going on with Doctor Strange and, and the, what is it, the Infinite Multiverse of Madness or something like that. Yeah, the Multiverse. That, that long ass title. Um, I mean, I think it's going to be good. I think like, obviously, it's not going to be as cool as, you know, like actual Comic Con where people come and they do the cosplay and you get to see the live exhibits, but I think people are still going to dress up. They're still going to do their costumes. Oh, yeah. People are going to yeah. be acting extra. Yeah, people are going to be like, it, it, I feel like this, they're going to be able to easily take this experience and go online with it and still be fun. You may not tune in for as long as you would have been there if it were, if you were on site, but Mm -hmm. like you could tune in 30, 45 minutes, whatever, and still enjoy it as much. Yeah. Um, And, uh, and I'll give this, um, and, and also too, I should have mentioned that uh, it's actually all free, which is, uh, that's incredible. Yeah. You know, that this uh, this thing that, that, yeah, I, 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 I fucked up. I fucked up. Um, which is uh, incredible since, you know, it's incredibly expensive to not only purchase tickets uh, to Comic-Con, but also, uh, I guess, relatively expensive. Um, but then also to, like, travel and do yeah. all that and, and yada, yada. Uh, not to mention hotel stays, travel, whatever. You you get the point. Um, and so it's so dope that, that they're doing this. So people who historically haven't gone to Comic-Con can kind of get, a, like, an insight into, like, what it's like, what the experience is. Yeah. Um, and so... Uh, so yeah, uh, I myself, um, I don't think I'm looking forward to uh, to Marvel as much because it's like, I don't know, they they've been the heavy hitters at the at the at the table for pretty much ever, right? You know, so um, I think what I'm probably going to be looking forward to is um, the trailers that aren't like associated really with any sort of like thing, you know. Um, so. For instance, uh, as I'm kind of scrolling through it here, um, there are a couple things from like uh, Am- uh, Amazon Prime uh, that kind of sound dope, like uh, this um, this series Utopia that sounds interesting, um, and uh, and actually kind of lost my place, but um, but yeah, I-, I think I'm I'm gonna like 
use this as a moment to like like get out of just like the bubble of the DC Disney yeah. or Marvel, as you should Disney, especially if it's you know, free and situation. it's online exactly right you know it's cost uh, what, what does Jay say uh, it, uh, uh, it costs you nothing pay me no mind right yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and so uh, so yeah I think I'm just going to use this opportunity to check out the other things but what's going to be really interesting is to see how many new things we actually get because I'm sure a lot of these uh like the trailers we would have seen or a lot of the information we would have known um would have been taking place like earlier in the year like around february march right yeah but that's really when covid kind of hit so i'm curious to see what trailers are going to be what um what information that they're they're, they're going to be uh for for you know for this particular comic con given that productions have essentially halted you know um so it's going to be really interesting to see what kind of new things kind of come out of here um and uh i for one i'm, I'm going to be really interested to to uh to check it all out um and uh i'm not i'm not sure if i'm necessarily excited for like panels though yeah um because it has to be the right kind of panel because you can't Sometimes you have panels where it's like you have exciting people on there, right? But they're in that setting, they're kind of just boring to like watch and like not everybody can like handle like conversation and yeah. like banter and like, you know, and so sometimes I'm not I'm not that big of like any one person where I'm like, I would suffer through that just because I'm a fan of yours. Yeah. Like even the, the per like Sam Esmo, I just, you know, said that um, you know, I love his work. I don't know. Uh, you don't know if you tune into his I panel. I don't know if I tune into his panel. Yeah. Like, you know, like, and I've heard him talk about, you know, a bunch about not only Mr. Robot, but other projects he's had. Um, and it's like, all right, you know, that's cool. You know, unless he's talking specifically about like, maybe like the art of directing, mm -hmm. or, like, you know, I don't know. But if you're just talking about a project and you can't really give us all the details and you just have to kind of fill the time with just yeah, like, random shit. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, dude, I'm going through the schedule right now. There are a bunch of like little panels that um, look really good. Like, uh, there, I'm looking at one right now. It's called Script to Screen, and talks about like how like the behind the scenes of like your favorite movies going from like how they went from like you know the script being written to like reads to being scripts being shopped around to like how these things are then turned into film. How to get into the what, uh, what, what site are in so I can pull this. Up um, so I'm on uh, Comic Con dot org okay. um and if you go to uh if you know once you go to that link you'll be able to click on the schedule to see a schedule across all uh five days mm -hmm. um and then again like you know they give you the, the the name of the panel they tell you who's on the panel who's going to be speaking they give you the instagram handles of the follower or of the people who are on the panel um so you can really like pick and choose that's why this is dope like i can tune in for like 30 45 minutes to look at this panel where's um, the sun here um I'm so really half blind. yeah sorry if you so I, I just kind of clicked on the link that was in our um Trello oh, card. Okay. Yeah. Uh All right, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No you. worries. Yeah. So yeah, you know, I'm I'm just looking at this and there are a lot of like really dope panels that are happening. Like there's another one that I'm seeing here which talks about um like the art of storyboarding, the art of like creating cartoons on a cartoon network, like behind the scenes of like how something goes from like a idea at cartoon network to like an actual show. So like little things that you you know because going to comic-con right if you were to actually go it, it's very time-based so like you're trying to do and see everything in as much time as you have like if you bought your ticket for one day it's like all right what are the things happening that one day that i want to see this you can tune in every day of the five days and watch like one or two things that uh, that you're interested in so um this is awesome and again like it's like like, like you said it's free so you know it's kind of like why not tune in even if you just do it one day for 45 minutes why not yeah um yeah they try to pull up uh, i'm trying to pull it up so we can actually see it uh but uh yeah but anyways um yeah historically speaking um you know it's not that i i never had like any interest in comic-con it's just always one of those things where it was like all right where do you choose to put your you know the investment of your funds you know yeah uh, would you you know i'm not saying it, it would be a dope experience to go out to san diego chill for a few days and see some wild shit out in comic-con but also yeah i got other shit i got other priorities yeah. for, for <laughs> the know? people who love it you know good for them i don't know if i would have ever have gone as much well, and i do like san diego but i don't know if i would ever have like book a flight hotel specifically to go to comic-con for like two or three days um but this it's free it's online i'm down yeah yeah um okay 
Yeah, so I think uh, that about does it. Uh, I know we're way over time here because both of us <laughs> got a lot of shit to do. Um, but uh, but yeah, um, so if you want to check out Comic Con, you know this would clearly be the year to do it. It's you. It's it will never be easier slash <laughs> cheaper true. to do it than this year. Um, so so yeah, uh, do check out and uh, let us know in the comment section below like what you're looking forward to. Um, if you're definitely like a seasoned you know Comic Con goer. Uh, then uh, let us know what uh, what are, what are the uh, tips and tricks uh, to, to to navigate the waters of uh, uh, of the event. Um...